Hey guys, welcome to my Borrows Guide. So, Borrows is a minigame where you can loot a chest that contains level 70 gear and other prized items. However, you must defeat the six Barrels brothers, get kill count, traverse through a maze before you can loot the chest and receive the full rewards. I'm here to show you how to do all of that. First, let's talk about getting there. The standard route for going to Barrows is a shortcut as displayed in the video. And this requires the completion of In Search of the Maracu quest. Two other good alternatives are the minigame teleport. That teleports you to Morton, which is next to the barrels as displayed here, a very short walk. And that requires the completion of the Shades of Morton, the quest. And the other option is the high level requirement Mauritania Lakes 3 or 4, which provides unlimited teleports to Birdie Rock which again is very close to barrels as you can see here on a quick walk just a little longer yeah and it requires completing the respective uh, Mauritania hard diaries or higher getting there means nothing if you do not know how to go about doing the barrels minigame so let's move on to the setup do not fear I have a setup for players that do not have millions of GP as well as those who does and also for those that you know do not have a lot of high level skills or unlocked a lot of things so the first setup is what I call the welfare setup. It's effective enough that I will demonstrate doing a barrels run with this setup later on. The requirements are generally easy to obtain and it's in the chat box. This is the welfare setup. It's rather cheap. The most expensive thing is the admin staff upgraded but it is absolutely uh, worth it so please get it. So here I have the Berserker Helm, uh, the wound plate body, legs, and for jewelry I got the glory, combat bracelet, ring of life, ammo, bell bolts, and a cape. Please bring at least our Don't Cloak 1 because I will show you later on why it is so useful. And for the Welfare setup, we have the Rune Crossbow, the Dragon Skimitar, at least Red Dragon High Bodies and Chaps. And you want to bring at least 3 Prayer Potions. And a Super Attack is nice, you do not need it. Uh, rest is Lobsters, your Spade, Ammo for the Island Blast, and also a Quick Teleport Ectofield is a nice option. The normal setup is just a buffed version of the welfare setup. So we have the helmet of Neatiznat, Torax plate body and the legs, Abyssal whip, Dragon defender, Barrel's gloves, and Dragon boots. And for the inventory, I have the black D high body and chaps, DDS, Trial of the Seas, which is quite better than the Ivan staff, Monkfish, and a better teleport. So the teleport to house is actually amazing if you have 50 construction for an altar and also for the coral teleport which requires the desert treasure quest this map here displays where each of the brothers are located so normally you want to kill them in this order darax arams and carls because these three are the ones that you must have prayer uh, ready to use and the other three you can kill them in any order but i recommend dealing with varak after arams and then do Tarags and then guttons because these two are the least deadly but varak can hit through your prayer so again it's darax arams carls Varax, Torag, and then Guthans. First, head over to Darks and proceed to kill it with Mage. Make sure you have Protect from Aelion and it should go down really smoothly. And then next, we go to Arrows, Protect from Mage, and have your range gear ready and shoot it to death. And you can also use Eagle Eye, it works out really nicely. And then for the third guy, we go to Carol's Protect from Range and have your Ivan Blast ready or whatever magic attack you got. And you do miss a little bit, but it works out really nicely, so I recommend you stick to magic on it, even though it may not seem obvious. And then for the fourth guy, we go to Varax, make sure you have Protect from Melee on. Uh, its special attack does hit through your prayer sometimes, but with prayer on, it reduces the damage, so definitely have your Protect from Melee on. And for Torax, do the same thing, Protect from Melee, and just I've been blasted to death. And it should be relatively easy. And then next, we also go to Guthans and do the same thing. So what do you do once you find a tunnel? So if you find a tunnel before you kill the five brothers beforehand, do not go in yet. Make sure you kill all five brothers upstairs before you uh, go into the tunnel. In this case, uh, Guthans was last. I've already killed my five brothers, so I'm going to head down into the tunnel. Once you're in the tunnels, you have to do three things. Kill the Barrel's brother that's still alive, get kill count, and then loot the chest. So to kill a brother, you have to simply open the doors on your way to the chest and it has a chance of spawning that brother. But if it doesn't spawn and you reach the chest, the moment you click open chest, that brother will spawn guaranteed. But you want to make sure that you actually spawn the brother before you reach the chest room because if you are using welfare gear, you're a low level, you actually have the opportunity to save spot 
four out of the six uh, brothers. So if it is a melee brother, that's a tunnel. For example, I have Guttens. It is a perfect opportunity to actually open as many doors as you can in the corner rooms. This room, this room, this room, or that room, or actually inside the long corridors. Because if you do so, there are many spots where you can actually safe spot them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to safe spot the melee brothers. Once you are in a corner room, proceed to open the doors between the long corridor and the corner room until the brother spawns. As you can see, I spawned the melee brother. So all I have to do now is to find a safe spot. So each corner room, there is a hidden square that can be used as a safe spot and it's really easy to trap them. So once you trap them, proceed to just kill it with mage. And remember, it only works on melee brothers. So if you have a Carl's tunnel or Aram's tunnel, you're going to have to use your prayer potions to you know protect yourself from their attacks and proceed to kill as fast as you can. Also, if you spawn one of the brothers inside the long corridor halls by the corner rooms, that works out even better because there are very obvious uh, safe spots that you can use to trap the melee brothers. So the point of getting kill count is to get additional rewards such as the runes, bolt rags, and other rare drop table items. So what is the minimal kill count that you should aim for? Well, the minimal kill count that you should aim for is 11 kill count because you will get maximum runes. If you want to get even more uh, additional items, you want to hit 14 kill count because that will give you the maximum amount of bolts. Now, which things should you kill for a kill count? Well, I recommend you kill the crit rats and the blood worms. If you kill the level 76 uh, monsters and the skeletons, uh, it will be a pain because one, they have a lot more HP and they also hit for more, so it will slow you down, so I recommend you kill the low level ones. So once you are done getting the kill count that you want, 11 or 14, you need to find the room that will lead you to the chest. So I already found it, but as you can see, the other three sides will have doors that will not open for you. So you may have to go around the whole way just to be able to open uh, you know, the door to get to the chest. But at this point, once you kill the remaining brother, get the KC that you want and you've you know, reach the chest. All you have to do now is open it. So I did not get any Barrow's items from this chest, but I did get runes, so you will make profit even if you do not get a Barrow's piece because Barrow's pieces are 1 in 16, so yeah, you won't be getting them all the time. But you have two choices now. You can either go up the ladder to restart your Barrow's minigame, provided you have the items, or you can teleport out and restock and come back. Now, if you're a new player, I recommend you teleport out. So this is where the Ardon Cloak comes in handy. The Ardon Cloak provides infinite teleports to an altar, which means you can replenish your prayer without having to use your prayer potions, because otherwise you would have to. So this will save money, and it's relatively easy to get the cloak, so I highly recommend you get it. And once that's done, you can use your Ectofield to get back to Canfis, or whatever teleport you use to get back to Canfis and restart your Boros minigame. Finally, this is the advanced setup for my Boros guide. However, I will not do a demonstration of this setup for Barrows because my previous demonstration should be more than enough for you to, you know, use to do Barrows with any type of setup. But I will explain some of the items I do have with me here so I can show you some tips and tricks to do Barrows faster and more efficiently. The advanced setup is a lot different from the other two setups. So I have full Gutten so I can heal under the tunnels to save myself food and space. Now let's move on to the inventory. I have the Occult Necklace so that when I mage, I will hit 10% harder so it will save me some time doing Barrow's runs. I have the Carl's Leather Top because it has better defense than the Black Dehyde Top. And finally, we move on to the Stamina Potions. So Stamina Potions are used for speed runs. Basically I do Barrow's as fast as possible using Stamina Potions and because I have got this with me, I am able to afford carrying Stamina Potions instead of food. And I have Super Combat Potions to speed up the process of killing Aram and Carl's with a whip. And finally, we have these two special items, the Mauritania Lakes 3 and the Rune Pouch. The Mauritania Lakes 3 is absolutely essential for speedrunning Burrows because it provides infinite teleport to Birdie Rot. And how I use this is simple, right? Once I loot the chest, I simply use the Ardon Cloak to teleport me to the Monastery, and then I refill my prayer, and simply I use the Mauritania Lakes 3 to go back to Birdie Rock and start my Burrows process all over again. This way you avoid having to go up the ladder and stuff so it's a lot simpler and it's always consistent. The Rune Pouch is an amazing item to use for Burrows because of the fact that as the name suggests it stores runes. So the Rune Pouch stores 3 types of runes up to 15,000 of each so as you can see I can put my Death runes, my Ryan runes and my Chaos runes that I get from the Burrows chest and save a lot of space.
That is the end of this video. I hope this guide will help you out in your endeavors at Boros. Otherwise, good luck at Boros, and hopefully I will see you guys in another video. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.